I saw Salome the first time when I was you know, very, very young. You know, there, there was for me immediately a strong connection with the final scene because then the music was so beautiful. But then I always saw this this you know lady with this you know cut off head, and I didn't really understand <laughs> what was going on and. Uh, so th there was always for me a curiosity um, as an artist to, to yeah to, to find a chance to dig more into these nearly ambiguous feelings that, that I had towards the piece, and and now it is the first time in my career that I, that I have the chance to do so, and I think it is the right moment as well now to do it, and so you know I, I feel it, it's good that I waited. The, the story of Salome is, in a certain way, a typical story and a subject that Richard Strauss was interested in during his whole life. You know, he was always looking for stories that were built around a dysfunctional family, and uh, so and and here in Salome, it is the case of the uh, that. Uh, we have a kind of patchwork family because we have uh, Herodias, the mother figure, with her second husband, and and the so and Herodes, who is then the stepfather of Salome, and we understand very much from the beginning that uh, in the meantime the stepfather has more interest interest in the daughter than in his wife and uh, and this um, yeah of course puts a conflict in in this kind of trio of, of characters but then as a next disturbing factor comes in the prophet Johanna Ann who again forces nearly everyone to find a new position because he is, even if he is k kind of accusing everyone of, um, you know, b being full of sins, you know, and, and he, he seems to f uh, push sensuality very much far away from him. I always feel, you know, that there is, even in him, an enormous... Um, in a desire, or you know, where it is difficult to say: is it about love? Is it is it about sex? Is it a mixture, you know, of of a spiritual, you know, love and transformation of of um, desire to something higher? So, so through this character, um, the, the the story is open to a lot of you know, many questions and, and a wide field of the whole theme around um, love and death. I think in 1905, when uh, Salome was premiered, it was shocking to see such an extreme example of femme fatale, because femme fatale was, was a bit en, en, en mode, you know, en vogue, you know, that, that, uh, that it was actually very, very sexy to, to, to have, you know, these st quite strong woman uh, characters on stage. Um, even, you know, of course, you know, Tosca, she was stabbing, you know, Scarpia, you know, five days, five years earlier than, than Saloma, Salome entered the stage. Um, but um, I think this, the, the, that this girl just took the right, you know, to, to be so decided about things she wanted to have you know, and deciding about not only her destiny, but the destiny of other men, and that she was so much controlling um, everyone around her. I think that was a shock, you know. And and besides that, of course, this you know, coup de théâtre, you know, to have by then, you know, the 
the head of Yohanan on the silver plate, um, even a, you know, a, f a famous classic of making parody of these, these you know, these opera singers with, with his head in, in their hands. And um, so th th there, of course, I was even thinking of how can we go for, you know, the, the deep meaning of, uh, rather than for, for the surface of this uh, shocking scene. Yeah, the thinking of um, Oscar Wilde and, and his fantasy and and you know and the person he was, you know, I I feel always that he uh, because he was by then as a homosexual person in 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 England, he was even you know forced to go to prison, and and that that he wanted to write. Um, a piece uh, where you know questions are around um, gender as as well, you know, because it, it um, you know so he was you know mostly you know loving men and and he I, I think even hated the the idea of um, g having cliche of um, persons on stage that that should be just defined by um, sexuality on, on surface. I always try to find, um, after story reading, my biggest inspiration in the music. And uh, I'm with Strauss music after, I think, already eight, nine other uh, operas by Strauss that I've directed. I, he, he feels nearly like a relative of mine that I understand um, very well his musical texture and, and Strauss is, is I think a master in um, showing how complicated we are as human beings and I like that very much. <laughs>